Should you constantly be forced to pick up Sunday shifts for a coworker whose job it is to work the weekends because that coworker says it's against his religion to work on Sundays? That's the question the Supreme Court tackled during two hours of oral arguments today in the case of Groff versus DeJoy. Groff is Gerald Groff, a former U.S. Postal Service worker whose job it was to fill in for other postal workers on their days off, including weekends. When the post office signed a deal with Amazon in 2013, USPS started delivering packages seven days a week, including Sundays. Well, Groff said no, he wasn't going to work on Sundays because it's against his religion. And he asked for an accommodation from USPS, so he didn't have to. The post office initially offered to adjust his schedule so he could come to work after Sunday services, and they allowed him to find other co-workers to pick up his shifts. But as a rural carrier associate, it was his job to be flexible with his schedule and work on the weekends if necessary. Well, Groff couldn't find volunteers a lot of the time to pick up his shifts, so he just didn't show up like more than 20 times. So as you can imagine, other postal employees were pissed because now they were forced to pick up Groff's Sunday shifts. Groff ultimately resigned from the post office in 2019 and filed a lawsuit saying USPS violated Title VII, which is a federal law that makes it unlawful to discriminate against an employee based on religion. Groff says he was unlawfully punished for not working on Sundays. Under Title VII, the employer does not have to accommodate a religious request if the employer shows that they made a good faith effort to reasonably accommodate the employee's deeply held religious belief or demonstrate that such an accommodation, if granted, would cause an undue hardship on the employer. But how exactly do you define undue hardship for a company? That's what the Supreme Court is now going to decide. The lower federal court and the Third Circuit Court of Appeals both sided with USPS in this case, saying giving Groff this exception would burden other employees whose job didn't require that weekend work flexibility and that it was an undue hardship for USPS and it destroyed the morale. Groff's attorneys say the Supreme Court should get rid of the undue hardship excuse for companies because it gives employers unchecked power to deny religious accommodations by citing trivial business inconveniences. The Department of Justice lawyers say making such a change to Title VII is the job of Congress, not the job of the Supreme Court. The justices will release their ruling in Groff versus DeJoy in June.